women's football, uh, Reading women's team, going well this season. Uh, Lois Roach is from the women's team. She's on the line. Lois, good evening to you. Good evening. So, uh, you have, what are you, six league games remaining, isn't it? And it's all getting uh, pretty exciting in terms of possible automatic promotion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 60 games uh, left. Uh, two points off the leaders, Doncaster Bells, uh, yeah, and back in the league tomorrow against London Bees. Firmly ahead of Yeovil in third. I think you're six points ahead right now, aren't you? So you can, you're not going to relax, but at least you've got a bit of daylight between you and third spot. <laughs> yeah, certainly not going to relax. But um, yeah, we're pretty comfortable, but you know we can't take our foot off the gas. Um, obviously, we want to get promoted, but for us, we want to be champions. And uh, hopefully, if we win all our games, that will uh, that will happen. So the first of those six remaining games is tomorrow, and you, you go into that game with a bit of confidence after a, a win in the Continental Cup last week. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one this week, actually, because the team that we're playing tomorrow, London B, we actually played them last week in the Cup. So, uh, yeah, it was a convincing result, to be honest. We won the game 3-0. Uh, yeah, so we're just looking forward to the game tomorrow and hopefully getting three more points in the league and pushing on to get promoted and win the league really yeah our producer and uh, myself just now we had a bit of a panic up because we, we've got all our notes here and it says uh, playing tomorrow six o'clock saturday uh, london bees home at farnborough and i thought we had the same notes last week this is what happened last yeah. week but that was in the continental cup and tomorrow it's in the league so yeah women's football for you it's, yeah. <laughs> well, it's quite unusual isn't it to have back-to-back -back games that are identical yeah yeah it's um it's the first time i've ever experienced it and i think with the girls as well but um you know, it's a, it's a. We're confident. We we've just won the game three 0 so we're going into it confident. And hopefully, we can do the same again this week. Where it actually matters. Yeah, it can be interesting, can't it? If two teams know each other so well, as, as clearly you and London Bees will do, it can change the dynamic of it a little bit. It's a feel like a sort of second leg of a cup game, I suppose. It, I know it's probably more important than that for you guys with the championship, where the uh, league points mm. up for stake. But um, it, it's, it might change the dynamic of it a little bit tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Funny that last week we actually um, in the cup it gives us a chance to have a bit of a squad rotation. You know, it gives a chance for managers to see players that maybe are not in the starting eleven and stuff, and gives the girls a chance to break into the team. Because uh, in our school we have quite good competition places, and it just showed that last week that some of the girls were rested and the girls that came in done a very good job, obviously, to uh, win the game three 0 So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we go with tomorrow. And I'll hopefully get the win again. Yeah, well, hopefully you'll, if you change the squad a little bit uh, last week, you'll have a few surprises up your sleeve for them and uh, can uh, still give them a, a really good I think game that's tomorrow. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah, it's clever that. Give a good, good idea. I like it. Uh, thank you very much, Lois. I hope it goes well tomorrow, and we'll keep in touch. Six league games remaining. We hope you get to uh, automatic promotion. You're getting closer, so fingers crossed. Thanks for your time, Lois. Thank you very much. Take that's care. Lois Roach.